So let me introduce the Power9 family of servers. This is designed to match the requirements of customers' most critical data intensive workloads, from mission critical, critical data workloads to big data systems to the next generation of AI workloads. Power9 has a system for any of those jobs. Now, by leveraging the servers that meet specific workload characteristics, customers uh, can gain not only a performance advantage on their competitors, but with the price performance advantage that Power9 offers, the savings can be invested in building new next generation AI applications that will disrupt their industry. Simply said, uh, Power9 provides competitive advantage. Now, before we have a look at the hardware in more detail, let's have a look uh, at the operating system choices. A choice is good, right? Right. So what operating system is the right one for the task? You want flexibility. Sure, we're talking about Linux in this course, but the enterprise you work in or will be working in is likely to be running workloads that benefit more from the hardened, resilient, tailored robustness of either AIX or IBM I. Now it's important to understand that the Power9 servers and Power System servers in general run workloads on the operating system of your choice. So be sure to check the documentation though because a few of the Power System servers don't run all three operating systems. All right, so more importantly, it's key to recognize that regardless of the operating system you choose, the capabilities of the platform are unmatched. In other words, it's very likely that Linux will run faster and more reliably on a Power System server than anywhere else. Now the small enterprise server line starts with uh, what's called the S914. It's a 4U that comes with one socket and has four, six, or eight cores per socket along with a terabyte of memory. And you can order an S914 as a tower or rack mounted system. And you might notice that the chart does not list processor frequency, frequencies. And this is because the Power9 server uh, ships with dynamic adjustable frequencies. Now by default, all of the offering, offerings in this server line, except for the S914, are set to run in maximum performance mode. The S914 is not because it is likely that this server, especially in a tower configuration, will be running outside of a data center, say under a desk, uh, in an office, and therefore a client may not want the high uh, fan speeds and associated noise to run out of the boxes of the default setting. Of course, it is an option. Now, the other servers in this lineup, the L922, S922, and S924, all ship by default with the maximum performance setting for processor frequency. The L922 and S922 both come with one or two sockets in a 2U footprint and with uh, the cores per socket as noted. The L922 and S922 also come with a maximum of four terabytes, a substantial advantage over competitors. So finally, the S924 is a two socket 4U server with up to 12 cores per socket and also comes with a maximum of four terabytes of memory. All right, so don't forget, all of the servers in this lineup come with PowerVM pre-installed, which means you can take advantage of the high virtualization density on these highly capable uh, servers and, and build your own private cloud. Now, these servers are ideally suited for scale out data intensive workloads like MongoDB, MySQL, DB2, and, and other database systems. Now, the previous server models were focused more on clustered workloads, but if you're looking to create an on-premise private cloud, you know, what, do you, what do you want? Well, you'll want dense compute power in a single footprint where your demands for quickly provisioned small workload environments can be satisfied. And that moves us into the E, the enterprise servers, the E950 and the SAP HANA optimized H950. They come in two socket and four socket configurations in a 4U form factor for standard 19 inch rack enclosures. The e H950, uh, E950 and the H950 leverage the uh, eight way simultaneous multi-threading or SMT8 processors in 12 core, 11 core, 10 core and eight core offerings. And that means each core can handle up to eight simultaneous threads, providing very high potential throughput. And we'll talk more about threading later in, in, uh, in, the, in the course. Uh, clients can leverage the 12 core processor for maximum throughput or the eight core processor for maximum per core performance. Or you can go somewhere in between depending on the workloads that you want to run on the system. So for private cloud deployments, the E or H950 servers come with a, a, a robust amount, 16 terabytes of memory, which supports up to 920 gigabytes a second of total system memory bandwidth. Okay, for memory hungry workloads like databases, data intensive applications and in-memory analytics, in addition to the aforementioned uh, private cloud dense configurations. The E and H980s, again, the H is an SAP HANA optimized system, support up to four 5U keck drawers plus a 2U control unit 
all in the standard 19-inch rack enclosure. And this allows up to 192 processor cores in total. And like the E or H950, you can choose from 12 core maximum throughput, 11 core, 10 core, or 8 core maximum per core performance process, per, per processors. And the E and H980 servers uh, come with a design point for continuous operations for business critical services, delivering more VMs and more throughput per server than any other server, server on the market. The E and H 980s also support 230 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth and up to four terabytes of memory per socket.